Hey everybody, welcome back. We have a sweet new knife from HK from Hogue Knives. This one's the HK Exemplar number 54150. This one comes to us from our good friend CK. Thanks CK for sending this over. We can check this one out. You get the usual paperwork, instruction manual, and you get a little Hogue Knives sticker, which is pretty cool. Put this off to the side. Now, you get this like neoprene style case that it comes in, keeps it protected especially if you want to throw it around in your work bag or duty bag, whatever it is fits. But we have a very, very cool knife. As I'm going to drop it, it will take the abuse. Now, you have that Parkerized deep style pocket carry clip, which is very cool, a little HK logo on it. This one's been used and carried very well from our buddy CK. Got a little bit of, I did a little tune up on it before we're showing it. so. Got a little bit of extra sauce in there, but look at that sweet knife, that blade there. Got partially serrated. You got a little bit of a thumb ramp here at the top, some jimping built into the scales, or the end of the liners, excuse me, and the edges of the scales. So you can see right there, you get your scale jimping, and it matches up with the liners. Pretty sweet. Now you got some cool texturing pattern on here. This is G10. Uh, full G10 handles. So it's a manual able lock knife, axis style. Able lock is like the um, axis or the bar lock enhanced. <laughs> um, and they just do it right there. There's no stick at all. Um, it's very, very solid. Um, and it's, it's ready to go. This one's ready to put to work. This one's already been put to work by CK. Um, you know, when I grip it, I feel a little bit of the ramp up on the pocket clip here um, against my middle finger, but that's the only thing that I feel. So you get a little bit of that going on right there, but overall this fits nicely in the hand. It's a full size pocket knife and it's got a lanyard hole. So the lanyard fans, you can rejoice. It's got a little bit of uh, jimping built into the back of the scales here. Um, so if you do want to carry it in a grip, like so, your thumb's not gonna slip off. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, you know, I know CK likes the partial serrations. Um, I have some on some of my knives. They're very useful, especially at a work setting. Things you're gonna cut rope or straps or ties. So this is a cool knife. Uh, blade length, 3.25 inches, clip point on it. Just got that beautiful look, you know, almost. I mean, you can get up here, your, your index finger fits right in. If you need to do some, you know, a little bit more cuts like this or some scraping, get a little bit more control of it, which is kind of cool. Uh, Close length, 4.75. Overall, 8 inches. 154 CM blade steel. It's going to be easy to sharpen. You got a little bit of the Hogue USA there. And then you have your HK logo on this side. So pretty cool. Minimalistic uh, billboarding. I like that. All black would be cool, kind of like Benchmade. It'd be cool if they did the black liners, black access bar, or able bar, able access lock bar. Now, ambidextrous pocket clip. One thing Hogue likes is they like to do, uh, same with the HK line, they like to do tip up, tip down, right or left handed carry. So you got your pocket clip holes there, there, or on this side, or on this side. So you can move this, carry it, really fits anybody. Uh, you're looking at uh, $169.95 from Hogue Knives. Uh, go to hogueinc.com. The weight on this, 4.2 ounces. I like it. Now, what do you guys think? Should we compare it? Let's compare it. Now, when we're comparing, you got to go tactical, tactical. Here is a Mini Presidio 2 from Benchmade. So you can see the mini, how, how it stands up against the little bit bigger size HK exemplar. You also have, you know, you got you got to show off the, the Benchmade bug out in G10. Black, with some red accents. So you can see lengthwise, you're almost there, handle and blade. But your thickness, you're just not going to have that with this one. But let's compare it to the Benchmade Griptilian full size. This is kind of a... A similar knife in length and style. I think these are a pretty good comparison. Bigger belly on the Griptilian. 
than the HK Exemplar. And then you gotta go with the, the Super Freak. Get some partial serrations. Just a smidge longer handle and blade on the Super Freak. But overall, I'm digging this HK Exemplar. Man, CK, you got a winner here. I know you picked this one up from Hogue directly uh, at Blade Show West, and you fell in love with it. So thanks for loaning it out. It's pretty cool. I love checking this one out. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you guys would pick this one up. They also make it in a satin blade um, with no serrations or the, you know, the coated, the black coat with no serrations as well. So anyways, you guys are awesome. Thanks for all your support. If you want to join Zach's Daily Carry Crew, check the link out down below. Do something kind for someone this week. But most importantly, you take care.